do you have a kind of feeling that makes you uncomfortable when somebody praise you in front of other people or maybe you recently got promoted and your boss walking to you and say well done you deserve a promotion this year and after hearing that there's a kind of uncomfortable feeling in you that makes you think that am i deserving the promotion am i qualified to get promoted this year if you had the kind of feeling that makes you uncomfortable and doubting yourself whether you are deserved to get that reward it is most likely that you are suffering from imposter syndrome now what is imposter syndrome it is the kind of uncomfortable feeling in you that keeps on circling in your thought that makes you feel that you are not competent you are not qualified or experienced to deserve that reward the reward can be a praise can be a promotion can be somebody say good things about you now as a result you often have the fear of feeling yourself like a fraud yet in order to prevent from people to think that you are a fraud you often want to pressurize yourself to work very hard so that people wouldn't doubt your ability and in this video i'm going to share with you what is the main reason of you having the imposter syndrome and how can we resolve that let's deep dive in right now one of the key reasons why that imposter syndrome kicks in in your mind is because maybe you have a low self-esteem that means you are not confident about who you are and what you do as a person so that's why you are always doubting yourself you're always judging yourself criticizing that you are not good enough and that is a very big problem and it may cause a lot of issues when that imposter syndrome kicks in so in order to resolve that i'm going to share with you five ways of how to increase your self-esteem so that you can eliminate the imposter syndrome whenever it comes in number one is you have to stop comparing with others because you must always remember that the greatest enemy is always yourself it's not about others and that is why it is important to only compete with yourself so that you do not need to care about what other people are doing or how does their results affecting you and that is not important because you are always finding yourself who you are and what you do number two is you need to surround yourself with positive people you need to have that positive environment why because your environment shapes your behavior by surrounding yourself with positive people you will make you feel uplifted motivated to pursue your dreams whenever you fail there's always someone to pull you up and keeps you going so that's why it is important to always remember to surround yourself with positive people to avoid any negativity in you number three is you need to take good care of yourself by having that self-love and self-care don't be too hard on yourself sometimes when you pressurize yourself too much you work extra hard and you forget to take good care of yourself you will get burned out easily so that's why it is always to really reflect and take a step back to see are you living to other people's expectations are you working too hard to prove people wrong so it's always remember to love yourself more so that you can get some rest be it mentally emotionally or physically number four is be kind to yourself whenever you make mistakes in life you can treat mistakes like a mentor and ask yourself this what have you learned from these mistakes how have you grown instead of treating mistakes like a failure you can start to embrace it pick up from there and move on so that you won't make the same mistakes again and that is how you can learn from mistakes gain the experience 
to increase your self-esteem and remove that imposter syndrome. Number five is having that positive self-talk. Whenever you are doubting yourself, you feel that you are not good enough, you are always having the fear. It is time for you to reflect and having that positive conversation in you. That means you have to think through whether that negativity, that fear in you, does it serve any purpose to achieve your goal? If it doesn't, remove that. And by remove that and having that positive self-talk, you will tend to boost your morale better, having more positivity in your mind, and you won't feel having that imposter syndrome anymore. I hope this video gives you a different perspective of how to deal with imposter syndrome whenever it kicks in. By understanding your self-worth and also be proud of what you have done so far. Because by having that kind of feeling, you will help to increase your self-esteem and remove that imposter syndrome in you. If you enjoyed this video, please do remember to click on the subscribe button below, turn on the notification bell and share with me in the comments whether any of the solutions has helped you to remove the imposter syndrome in you. And that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video.